Oh, 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 ran the red light. Yeah. What's up guys? So let's see, it's 9.06. We're getting a late start on the day for sure, but I, you know, there's one thing, this is probably my biggest weakness as an angler, and that is I hate waking up in the mornings. Like I hate it, it's the worst thing ever. Sometimes if I wake up before like 6 a.m., I will, I will literally feel sick to my stomach. I don't know what's wrong with me, but morning times suck. I hate waking up early. There's no amount of coffee that can get me to where I need to be, and it just is what it is. So we're headed out to San Pedro right now. We're gonna go meet up with Jesse, JR and Fishing. You guys have seen him in a few episodes. I haven't just fished. I've been busy with work and just haven't had time to really fish much lately. So this is just gonna be good to get out and just hopefully get a little rejuvenated and just brought back into why I love fishing in the first place. We'll see you guys in San Pedro. All right, made it out here, San Pedro. Look who we got. It's been a long time. Fish. I used my knife. Uh, right now, I am getting rigged up my swim bait rods, the Daiwakage and the Alexa 300 WN. This is pretty much my favorite setup right now. I think it looks amazing. Or I'm gonna throw swim baits. You could throw like a jerk bait or something if you wanted to. My top producer in the kelp for numbers is jerk bait, and the swim bait definitely produces a little bit bigger fish. So give or take, that's what I would throw in the PV. And we are going to PV. PV. We don't really know what the plan is. Neither of us have fished, in right? A while. In a minute. Yeah. I know it's been a minute since I've fished, like legitimately fished. So I'm just excited to get out there today. Haven't been to PV in a minute. I don't know. I just want to fish. He's got way more than me. It's a real fisherman. You throw this stuff out there? Not out there. I just have these in there. The tails always fall off and then I mend them back. Or Rob, Rob helped me mend this back. Shout out to Rob. Funny story about Rob. The boots I'm gonna put on in a minute are actually Rob's boots. I think there's a picture of him when he was like 12 years old wearing these boots. <laughs> like the boots I have right no now way. he gave to me. Yeah, they're no like his way. childhood boots. There's a photo somewhere. I'll put it up. I'll have him send it to me, but it's pretty funny. I need to get my stuff ready. So you're throwing, you're throwing swim baits. I guess I'll, I brought my, I just, I have my 794 in the Lexa 300. I'm worried that my rod, well, we'll see. It might, it might hold up. It might be fine. I gotta figure out what to put on it though. I don't know what I'm gonna be throwing. Weedless swim bait, seven inch Reyes probably. I don't know, we'll have to read the kelp when we get there and see how it goes, but we're gonna get out there. I'll see you guys out there. So I park up here and just walk down. You can also just pay to park inside, I think. So right now we're paying $8 to park down here because I, unlike Jesse, he says he parks up here on this curb. I want you guys to see this hill. You see that guy? Yeah, That's the kind of guy who walks up that hill, Jesse. Somebody fit. Somebody who wears freaking Herbalife Nutrition. Sponsored fit people. That's what you wanted me to walk down. Hey, it's, a, you know, it's not too Are bad. Are you kidding me? Ooh, look at the rocks. Somebody's out there. Nobody's fishing there. All the guys are fishing over there. There's more kelp over, over there, but I like the way the sand looks over there. It's very white sea bassy. The tide is dropping right dropping now. right now. Yeah, so like if we went out there, it'd only be easier on the way back. But also like I don't know. I've fished over there only. Looks like we can walk through the front part, and then like when you get to the area where it's a little bit deeper, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to get in some deep water. All right, let's go over there first then. Nice. Lots well, of good one, I bet. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Opali. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I may tie on the uh, SP Minnow. There they are. Green or blue, Jesse, what do you think? Uh, go green.
bit. That is why you wear boots. Oh, he's on again. I guess the uh, opal eye bite is on. Oh, Garibaldi. Garibaldi. big one. Oh my god. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going. Here it goes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are out here not getting any bites on the uh, SP minnow. Jesse's been throwing some war baits, some swim baits, but we're still trying to get bit. We're going to see what we can make happen out here. So stick around. All right. We got the war bait swim jig with this squid lure on. We'll see what happens. Oh, is Jesse on? Did you get bit? Oh, oh. Oh, you just got wet? Just got wet. <laughs> you should maybe stick around here. Maybe. Well, maybe not there. <laughs> Jeez. That's not really, yeah, I think the waves are getting bigger. Tide's dropping, which I thought was going to be a good thing, but it's, it's actually making the waves break a little bit earlier and just decimate the shore. So it's, it's really good. <laughs> Unless you're rigged out. Yeah, like that guy. Okay. Oh! All right, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> You're just like instantly like, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> All right, well, it wasn't exactly how we planned on that going, but we need the opali armor. The only guys out there killing it, staying dry were the opali guys. All right, well, that didn't exactly go how, uh, how we planned, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. I still need to catch a fish. So I'm gonna head back home, change out of these clothes. I'm soaking wet right now, literally like soaking wet. That wave came in and wrecked both of us. Uh, Jesse was already wet, so I dropped Jesse off back at his house. I'm headed home, I'm gonna change. Then we're gonna head out to uh, maybe Lake Balboa, try to get a fish before the night's out. Yeah. 3.45 p.m. Man, traffic sucks in LA. Seriously, it's so horrible. It makes fishing, makes getting to fishing spots around town super annoying. Anyways, we're headed to Lake Balboa right now. I figured we'll try to get some freshwater bites in before the night's out. It's just, I live too far to drive back down there. I don't wanna do that tonight. So we're gonna head to Lake Balboa right now. Try to get a largemouth bass, see if we can uh, finesse something out of that lake there. All right, man, guys, we're here. I don't know what is going on at this park today, but it is insanely crowded. There is a massive amount of people here. It's crazy, but we're still gonna try to fish. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't catch any fish earlier this morning out at, uh, out at the rocks, but that was pretty crazy. I don't really know how to fish that spot uh, when water's blasting up at you like that, but it was fun. Either way, it's always a fun spot to go fish, even if you don't catch anything. That's just a beautiful location. We've got this Demiki armor shad underspin. See if we get a bit on that. Let's start with that. Once again, all patients, a reminder, the park is closing in one hour. Once again, the park is closing in one hour at five o'clock. All right, we got like 45 minutes then. That was a yum dinger, watermelon red flake. Not that it matters, because it didn't catch a fish, but that's what it was. What about these, ro these robo worm morning dawns? It's not morning, but these robo worms do look good. Let's try it. All 
All right, well, here we are, guys, day two. It's unfortunate how yesterday went, but headed to Lake Balboa. I just dropped my daughter off at preschool, try to get a fish before I have to pick her up. I'll probably have an hour and a half to fish by the time I get there, by the time I need to leave to pick her up. So hopefully we can get something done in, uh, in an hour and a half. So see how it goes. See you guys out there. So I've got this El Diablo, 13 Fishing El Diablo crankbait, lipless crankbait tied on. All right, guys, maybe this Yozori SP will uh, look a little bit more natural. I might have seen a follower. Maybe saw a follower. Oh, there's a hit. There's one. There's one. Finally, yeah, good one, good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. There we go, there we go. Yeah, felt that little thump, not a bad one. Right on the lip, two hooks in them. Got that one on the uh, Yozuri SP Minnow. There you go, not bad. That felt good, man. First fish of 2022, feeling good about that one. Nice little fish. Let's let him go. And he's out. Yep, you know, guys, I thought that this uh, this one looked a little bit more natural. The Yozuri SP, so we went with that and we got bit. Good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, click any one of the boxes on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video.